Gary Hogan, welcome to Sterl Spring uh, Football. Thank you. So you are, yeah. So tell us about yourself. Uh, there's not a lot to tell. Um, obviously now taking this job, I'm probably retiring. I've been a goalkeeper over here for the last seven years. Um, obviously close here, most closely linked with Stainshire. Um, most recently, I spent the last few months obviously with Sonnyfield. But the last couple of years have been most focused on coaches. I've so really started focusing a lot more on being a head coach and a goalkeeper coach. Yeah. So this year, I uh, said so this year, since May, I've been coaching Grey, Kvinnerlita and the Women's First Division. So uh, this is a good step to mm. add on to that, I think. Yeah. Gary Hogan as a coach, yeah. what's he like? Uh, maybe quite different than what people might expect. Uh, those who know me as a player, uh, obviously I can be quite loud, but I'm... Uh, to describe I don't really know. Uh, I have very clear ideas about how my teams want to play. Um, and I'd be slightly more attacking maybe perhaps than people would expect. I like my teams to play with freedom, players who enjoy their football. But they play with a lot of discipline, uh, which is a big thing. Um, so my teams will be obviously organised and disciplined, but we'll, I like my teams to play. Mm. I like my teams to play with the ball in possession, but they'll, they'll play with a lot of respect. For, for everybody, opposition, myself, the coaching staff, mm. uh, each other. Respect is a, a key word for you. That's a huge thing for me. Yeah, I yeah. uh, was as a player. I sort of uh, very rarely get involved in disputes with opposition players, the referees, and stuff. But I think respect is massively important. I said, and for a player group, for me, anybody who plays under me has to have a lot of it for the people around them. People are often interested in, in numbers, uh, systems, formations, 5-4-1, 4-3-3, 4-3-2-1. What's it going to be for you? Uh, well, I say it's important for us. It's, it's, I, I have a set way I like to play, but syst systems will change. Uh, it's also important for us that we develop on what has been done here already. The club has done extremely well on the roar. They've developed extremely well. Um, and a couple of systems that I think they've seemed to use is obviously they tried the 3-5-2 last year. Which I'm a fan of with the right players, but predominantly you're talking four two three one four three three, uh, with a quite a dynamic midfield. Would be what I'd be looking to set out from the beginning. Mm. Uh, your uh, coach partner Tom uh, has not been living in this area. You have for seven yes, years, and yes. you watched a lot of games. You also yeah, watched yeah. us play. I guess. Yes, I have done. Uh, even last year, so I'm I'm, I'm well aware of what I'm getting into, and it's one of, I think it's the third time I've been offered a, a second division job. Uh, and this is the first time it's one I've really wanted to do. It's like, obviously everybody knows I'm a big, people who know me know I'm a massive fan of this area. This is my favourite part of the world. Um, so to get the opportunity to come back here to coach a team like this that I've seen, that has such a good playing group, has a very good playing style, it's, a, it's obviously too good an opportunity to turn down. Mm -hmm. And obviously then, as you've mentioned, uh, bringing Tom with me, it was, um, it was kind of a deal breaker for me. He's obviously he's, People up here don't know him, uh, but they'll come to see he's one of the best young coaches in the country. Mm. And very, very important that I had him with me to do the job. Yeah. So, um, uh, with the players we had, from what I've seen in the last couple of years, I played against you once, you knocked me out of the cup. Yeah. You as a third division team, me as a second division team. Uh, so, I know all about it. Uh, the teams are very, very good. You know, So, um, it's a very interesting and exciting job. The two of you will be uh, fully in charge from the first or uh, fourth of January or something, but uh, you will. Yeah, well, have a look at us. I said we're here now. We uh, have a look at training. We're going to get a load of the videos to have a look and yeah, get ourselves embedded in the club as much as possible. Mm. I said obviously I'm, I'm based up here anyway, so the more the more work we can do as early as possible, the better to be mm. prepared for when we get going. Yeah, you will not be a full-time employee with us, but uh, you have some other projects as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, like I said, I've got my own Keeper Academy up here, and obviously now it's something I'll share with Tom. Uh, so we've got one in North Trondelog at the moment, and then we'll obviously develop that into Trondelog. So it's, it's, it's kind of, it couldn't be more perfect, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, coaching as a head coach here, and still getting to do my Keeper, keeper stuff at such a the level that I want to do it. So it's a, a nice, happy medium, actually. Yeah. What's a perfect player for you in terms of behaviour and, and stuff? That's a bit like it goes back to respect again, but players will have a lot of respect for those around them, but ones understand the responsibility of what they're there to do. Mm. The players don't have to be the best player in the world, they don't have to be the 
the match winner all the time, but a player who understands their role for the team, um, understands the job, and, and cares about their teammates. It's, if you have, I think if you have 11 of them on the pitch, you'll most likely be the team that has four or five superstars. So, um, and we have good players. So if we have those type of characters that I like, uh, who obviously want to win, who want to respect the system, the under the teammates, the their role within that system, yeah, I think we'll do very well. Is it fair to say that uh, we have three versions of you? We have the uh, person Gary Hogan, the coach Gary Hogan, and the, the player Gary Hogan, or are they similar? Um, yeah, I'd say that, that might be too unfair. Uh, you know, I think in, when people meet me in certain circumstances, they're quite surprised if they've if they've known me from one or heard about me from one. So it's, uh, but that's a, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know which one's better than the other. But we'll, we'll see over time. Maybe they'll merge to, to some degree now that I'm fully focusing on this. But yeah, hopefully it's one that one that works for everybody. Yeah, it is. So uh, second division in Norway, hmm? quite an interesting league. Yeah. Uh, Semi-professional in hmm? Or yeah. What is uh, what will be the key key focus areas for us? Do you think? To perform well or even better than last season. Well, like I said, we've got a very interesting group, and obviously, personally, one that's I'm quite interested in. Obviously, we're getting Hamcam and Nibriksen, uh, Honofos. I've got a friend there that's been there for quite a while. So it's a. Uh, but to build on last year, it's obviously a case of, I think, they know the level now, they know what's required, they know maybe the things you might get punished for. But say so our goal as a team will be to, to give them an understanding of how we want to play give them a structure so that then they can go with that maybe a little bit more freedom to go and enjoy the football and attack teams. But once they have an understanding of what's required when we don't have a ball, we'll, we'll be all right. It's a good league, you know, and we play against teams with, uh, especially the clubs around Hedemark have a lot of money, uh, a lot of full-time players, um, teams that might be expected to do slightly better than we would be based on budget, but I, I don't really see it that way. I think we'll... We will work extremely hard to give the players the best possible chance to, or to be best possibly prepared come April. And um, with the quality we have in the squad, and maybe one or two additions, um, I would hope that we're in a position to do as well as if not better than last year. Once again, Gary Hogan, welcome to this um, project, Mr. Thank you very much.